Hi, this is Mike Callahan, Dr. File Finder, and welcome to your Butterscotch.com tutorial on how and why to use Safe Mode. Now, Safe Mode is often useful to remove drivers or software or other things when you can't do it in normal mode like we're in now. So the first thing you have to do is click Start. This is Windows Vista. Here you click the arrow next to the lock icon and select Restart. In Windows XP and previous versions of Windows, you'll click Start, Log Off Computer, and then select Restart. So we'll click Restart. Now what you want to do as your computer starts to restart at the very beginning of the boot, you want to tap the F8 key. You may be able to hear me tapping the F8 key. Now you can see that we have a boot menu come up. Use the arrow keys to move up to safe mode and press enter. Now you'll see all kinds of commands scroll across your screen. That's Windows selectively deciding what to load. Because in safe mode, it loads the very minimum it needs in drivers in order to operate. Because that's one way that you can help solve problems is by having as little stuff loaded as possible. And that way you can get in there and remove the driver that's causing a problem, remove the software that's causing a problem, do whatever it is you need to do that needs to be done in safe mode. Safe mode is a kind of diagnostic mode that's available in Windows. And in a minute here, we will be up in safe Here's Windows starting up. I log in. You'll note that the screen is black. It says safe mode in each corner. Here's a little dialog in Vista that tells you what safe mode is. Talking about only basic drivers and things being loaded. So you're here in safe mode. You can do the things you need to do. And then when you're ready, you can just click start. Go over here. Restart again. And that's all there is to it.